Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be talking about books that I DNF'd. DNF stands for did not finish and it's actually today's Instagram challenge for the Bookish September readathon. So I will leave a link down in the description to a video that talks about what Bookish September is. And when I saw this challenge on the Instagram challenge, I actually didn't think that I had that many books that I had DNF'd. But when I looked at my Goodreads and at my bookshelf, I realized that there were a lot more than I originally thought there were. And I also realized that in the recent past, I've actually completed several books that I originally DNF'd. So I'm actually gonna start the video off by talking about those a little bit and then transition into the ones that I have on my shelf that I have DNF'd. So the most recent book that I originally DNF'd and have now completed is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. I actually just finished this book a week or two ago but I originally started reading it last November on the plane ride back to school at the end of Thanksgiving break. I got halfway through it, but once I got back to school, finals hit and I just didn't have time to read it. And I kind of forgot some of the stuff that happened. So I decided to put it down and restart it once I was in the mood for it again. And even though it took several months, I finally picked it back up again and I really enjoyed it and cannot wait to read the rest of the Chaos Walking trilogy. The next one that I've recently finished is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I originally picked this one up about this time last year and even though I enjoyed the 30-ish pages that I read of it, I for some reason just didn't end up finishing it. I think that at the time I was going through a little bit of a reading slump and I just really couldn't figure out what I was in the mood for and it clearly wasn't this because I put it down after like 35 pages and didn't pick it back up again until the booktubeathon. Another one that I've recently finished is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. This is a short story collection about Magnus Bane who is one of my favorite characters of all time so I was really excited to pick this up pretty much on its release. However, I read the first like six novellas and they were all just kind of mediocre. And so I just put it down and didn't pick it back up again until the Cramathon in July. And fortunately, the novellas that I read during the Cramathon were significantly better than the first few novellas in the book. So I ended up really enjoying everything that I read in the Cramathon. And the last one of these that I have finished is actually kind of embarrassing because it is an extremely well-known series that I started trying to read in my senior year of high school, which was early 2012. And I didn't finish the first book in the series until last December. And that is The Hunger Games. Back in high school, my friends were constantly telling me how amazing this book was. And I finally caved in and I was like, fine, I will read it. And I don't know what it was about the night that I tried to read this, if I was in a bad mood or if I was just easily bored but I got to like two or three chapters in and I wasn't really hooked and so I just put it down and all of the hype caused me to really never pick it back up again because I didn't want to jump on the bandwagon because I'm such a hipster. But yeah, for some reason, I just didn't pick it back up again until this past December. And I kind of regret that at this point because I ended up watching the movie before I read the book and I really wish I would have done it the other way around because I think I would have enjoyed the book more if I didn't know some of the stuff that was coming. However, I do enjoy this trilogy. It's not my favorite trilogy of all time, but this is definitely my favorite book in the trilogy. Okay, so now moving on to my currently DNF'd books, starting with one of the books that is highest on my TBR, and that is More Than This by Patrick Ness. So during the reading slump where I attempted to read Vicious, I got really sick of being in a reading slump and so I took to Goodreads and asked for recommendations for a fast-paced standalone novel that would kind of get me back in the mood for reading. And this was the one that everyone ended up recommending and the one that I ended up getting. And obviously more than this didn't help me get out of my reading slump because it is still DNF'd. It wasn't that I didn't enjoy it, I think I just wasn't in the mood for it. I got about 50 pages in and it wasn't exactly what I was expecting, and so I ended up just not really reading it anymore. I didn't do it on purpose, it just kind of happened. So yeah, now that I have a better idea as to what it's about, I think that I'm going to pick this up in the near future because it's really intriguing me right now. Next up is The Book of Three by Lloyd Alexander, which is the first book in the Chronicles of Prydain. I picked this up last August because I really love the Disney movie, The Black Cauldron, which is based on the first few books in this series but I really didn't enjoy it that much. I got about halfway into this book, which is roughly 100 pages, and I think that honestly I just wasn't really in the mood for high fantasy, and I was kind of not excited 
about some of the differences from the movie. That being said, I do definitely want to return to the series with the mindset of separating the series from the movie. Next up are a few pretty recent DNFs, starting with Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. This summer, I attempted what I dubbed the Summer of Sanderson Challenge, where I tried to read a bunch of Brandon Sanderson books. But after the Mistborn trilogy and The Rhythmatist, I picked up Elantris and for some reason I just wasn't feeling it. Now I did only get like 20 or 30 pages into this, so I'm sure I will absolutely love it when I eventually pick it up again. I think that it was just kind of a bit slower paced at the beginning and I wasn't super excited about it, so I just need to set it down for a little bit and then return to it when I am really, really excited about it. Another super recent dnf book is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I knew going into this that a lot of people thought that this book was really slow, but when it comes to high fantasy series, I actually don't mind books being slow in the beginning because I like to get a lot of world building, but I guess I just wasn't expecting how slow this book would be. I tend to read at night, and I think that this book was slow enough that I was kind of dozing off while I was reading it. It's not that what I read wasn't interesting, but I think that the slow pace of the book caused me to doze off a little bit at certain parts, and it was just hard to keep my attention on this. However, this is my next read. I plan to pick this up this weekend, so Hopefully this will not stay DNF'd for long because it does really intrigue me and I do want to give it another chance. Another recent DNF is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. This is another one that wasn't exactly purposeful. I started reading this for the Booktubeathon, but I realized that I didn't have much time left and so I set it down so that I could read some smaller books and then I just never picked it back up again. This is another one that I really don't want to be DNF'd for super long. I don't think I'm going to get to it within the next month or two but hopefully I can get to it before the end of the year because what I read wasn't like blow my mind amazing, but it does have me intrigued to see where the series goes. So I do definitely want to pick this up in the near future. And I got about 90 pages into this one, so I'm sure that there is a lot more stuff that goes on in this book that is amazing, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. Another book that I DNF'd in my reading slump last year was The World in Six Songs by Daniel Levitin. I'm a music major and I tend to be way, way, way more excited about music stuff in like the beginning of the school year than I am in pretty much any other time of the year. And that's when I picked this book up last year. And I actually only ended up getting like 15 or 20 pages into it. It's not that I don't like it, I think that it's really interesting, but sometimes I find it hard to get really invested in a nonfiction book. That being said, I do love the other Daniel Levitin book that I have, which is This Is Your Brain on Music, so I definitely do plan on giving this one another chance at some point, but just not right now. And I also did kind of the same thing two years ago with Musicophilia by Oliver Sacks. The psychology of music is a topic that really interests me, and that was what really drew me to this book. I think I got like a quarter of the way into it, but like I said with The World in Six Songs, sometimes nonfiction books don't grab me as much as fiction books do. And it's not that this book isn't interesting, because it really, really is. It's just sometimes really difficult to pick up an informational book instead of a fun, fast-paced, exciting book. But once again, this is one that does intrigue me and that I do plan on picking up in the future. And finally, the last book on this list is actually one that has been DNF'd since high school. And I actually think, I don't know if I've changed it, but for a while on Goodreads, I had it marked as red because I've seen the movie like 20 million times and I know everything about it. I just never finished the book. And that is The Shining by Stephen King. And the sad thing is that I got really close to the end, which I think is another reason that I counted it as read on Goodreads. But for some reason, I just never finished the book. Which is pathetic, since The Shining is one of my all-time favorite movies, let alone one of my all-time favorite horror movies. So yeah, this is pretty disappointing. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it at this point because I don't want to reread all the stuff that I already read in The Shining just to read the end of it, and I'm not sure where I was in the book, but yeah. I haven't finished The Shining, don't know if I ever will, but I love the movie. So those are the books that I have DNF'd. Like I said, with many of them, I hope to finish them in the very near future and cut down on the list of books that are currently DNF'd on my shelves. Let me know down in the comments what one book is that you DNF'd but really want to pick up again. As always, I will leave links down in the description to my blog, Twitter, and Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!